If the FBI releasing a wanted poster showing new photos of the suspect or suspects who threw a Molotov cocktail device into a pro-life organization here in Nashville nearly a month ago. News 2's Kendall Ashman is joining us live in Midtown where she spoke to businesses around the clinic. They are concerned the person behind this still has not been caught. Kendall. Haley, that's right. Business owners I spoke with say they weren't at work at the time when the Hope Clinic for Women was vandalized, but they say it came as a surprise when they found out the very next day. I feel safe around here because we've been here around in this area for 25 years. Owner of Royal Thai, Nanita, says after over two decades in business, they moved their restaurant right next door to Hope Clinic for Women. We just moved here like, what, four months ago? Their new neighbors vandalized just days after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade a month ago. On June 30th, police discovered an unignited Molotov cocktail type device thrown into the front window here at Hope Clinic for Women. Jane's Revenge was painted on the side of the building. The group also linked to attacks seen at anti abortion clinics in New York and Asheville. I didn't see anything that night because I left around 9.30 and not nothing. But several hours later, around 1.30 a.m., FBI are now using these hard-to-make-out photos of the culprit seen wearing a backpack. This car, also a key piece in the investigation. I was really surprised, very surprised that that happened around here. Nanita says the incident was a topic of conversation for many of her customers the next day. But she says at this time, she feels safe to come to work. I saw a lot of police. And then sometimes at night now, there are police parked in the back, kind of watching the building. Now, it's hard to tell, but the side of the building still has some apparent paint on the side, even just one month after the incident. Meanwhile, the FBI is continuing to take any leads. You're asked to call the FBI Memphis field office, seen below, or you can submit um, information at the bottom of your screen at FBI.gov. Reporting live in Nashville, I'm Kendall Ashman, News 2. Thank you, Kendall.